And now I think they've morphed everything, and now it's a Pentecostal organization. I guess we're political correct these days. They put them both together, I suppose. And uh, you know, in fact, they have monthly meetings. I always get the newsletter. Um, I'm, I just when I get up to this, when I get up to the states, and I'll, you know, I'll, about four months or so, I'll go to the meetings and stuff like that. Anyway, I got a, uh, a note with a, well, from one of one of the sisters, right? And uh, she says. Hey, Brother Sloan was able to see your YouTube posting today. It has been a long time since you last paid a visit to the Big Apple. I'm coming. Um, I see you list yourself as ADOS, American Descendant of Slavery. I am a math person, but might be, uh, I'm, I am a math person, but might it be descendants of those enslaved? Keep me informed. I could use all the, uh, I could use all the help I can get. And then chance you come in this way, uh, 45 minutes, uh, okay, whatever. So I never, but, oh, thank you, baby. Here's your tea. Okay, Donna. Oh, it's hot. Woo! Yes, it is. What, what, what's, what's in it? What's, what's this tea? It's, it's the pure cup black tea. The black tea? And, and moringa. And the moringa. I love the moringa. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, hey, let me tell you something. They always say, like, green tea. Please, as we all know, black is the best. If you have a choice between green tea and black tea, get the black tea. Better for you. I'm just saying, do your research, whatever happened. Anyway, anyway, so Diane, um, you know, my sister, she uh, she had that message, right? And so, you know, I wrote it back. Oh, wait a second, did I? Oh, I just lost it again. Ah, what did I write back? What did I write back? What did I write back? Come on, come on, come on. Um, so naturally, you know, Sisters, my brothers, you know, turn again. Well, I should say something about, about, about now. Penish Girl was um, was like um, in the New York City Mission Society. They had a thing called a feather, menacing. Had the feather, but this uh, the, and then you had the cadet corps, and so we were another group. So they started the Penish Girl after the feather. The feather had been in existence since the fifties or something like that. Anyway, but a lot of the people in the feather, some of the people in the feather, founded the uh, Penish Girl. Uh, but it's, it's, it's all based on like the Greek kind of system, you know, crossing the burning sands, blah, 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 blah that, whole, that whole thing. Um, uh, so I wrote her back. Hey, Sister Sarge, I'm scheduling a trip ooh, to the States from July through October, going to the inaugural ADOS conference in Kentucky, uh, the beginning of October. And I put www.ados101.com. Check their website. They can explain their logic there. Uh, I did a video title, I did a video title, We Name Ourselves. It talks about the name. Here it is, and I give it the thing. I'll put that in the, the, the cell. Okay, so I'm through that. Sorry about that. It might be a, taking long. So I was thinking because there, there are other people, there for, should it be uh, W, W, S? What's that? People have a lot of alliterations of this thing. I tend, as you may or may not know, oh, let me turn this light on so I can get more. Ooh. Get my set right because it's kind of dark today. Uh, is that better for you? Um, so, um, is that the way? So, so, so I basically, if, if you're gonna, if you have a movement, and the people who start the movement, as you enter, that's is gonna be. But they're they're the ones that 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 open the portal. You know what I mean? There's other portals that have been opened that people go through, but they open this particular portal. And those of us who's coming through that portal, I think, well, I, I, I this is what I do. I follow. The instructions of the, the people that opened the portal. They know. They they've been. They they did all the work. They did the digging. The digging. The, 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 the excavating. So we can get through. So if they say it's American descendants of chattels and American descendants of slavery, then that's what it is. Now I of course, as I always do, I have to. I alter it without altering it because I don't want to destroy their work. So I put you know what's down there. You know down there. Say so I put uh, north. Cross it out. Right north. A 
American, American is big, descendants, right, of, right, then chattel, I put a line through that, right, and then slavery. So for me, the, the, the longer name is, would be North American descendants of chattel slavery. The child slavery is important to me, but I, I don't look. I don't argue with the people who who, who dug the you know who dug the, the escape route. <laughs> okay, but so I keep their thing, but I sort of slip my thing in there, right? Okay, so I was thinking, so why would people change the name? And but I realized one of the things is people don't travel; they don't understand. I've traveled all over the world. Well, I shouldn't say it. I travel a lot of places on the planet, right? And wherever you go. Um, you know, people sort of, I didn't, the first game is where you're from, where you go, whatever, whatever it is. Like, for instance, uh, when I was in, the only people, the only, the only people that ever guessed correctly when I went to Cuba, right, was going to the, to the museum there. Oh, this is great. In Cuba, in the museum, they have a sign. If you are uh, a citizen of Cuba, you get in free, because it's a Cuban, you know, history. But if you're a visitor, you got to pay. <laughs> so me and I, well, I forget who I was, uh, maybe it was Mario, uh, yeah, I think it was a matter of Mario. Uh, you know, but, but we we went to visit this museum, and there was a museum guard there. She was, you know, a museum guard, and uh, so she, so of course she asked, she 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 said, let me. She said, where where are you from? And then uh, I didn't talk or anything like that. And she said, let me guess. And she looked, she looked at me. She said, you're from America, right? I said, wow. Person that first person that, I've been around it, but, but nobody's really guessed it like that, you know. Remember, she said she's from America. She's in Cuba. She's just, that's, that's obviously the Caribbean or whatever. Okay, great. Um, I'll tell you a story about her later, you know, because she, she couldn't really speak English. I couldn't speak Spanish. We, we basically spent the night, you know, you invited me out that night. I went all around, this a friends we were there, and there, we, some guys, we were there, and we, they were talking Spanish. I'm, you know, I don't know a lot of Spanish, you know, but we perfectly understood each other, you know. It's really great. Let me get off that. Uh, so wherever you go, um, they ask you, well, da, 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 da. and especially like when I travel around here, like South Africa, or whatever, have you? The first thing they say, well, look, uh, where, are you, where are you from? You know, some people, like, like for instance, when I was in Mexico, they, they would think that I was from uh, Aruba or or, or, or or Cuba, you know, other places. They always think I'm from someplace else. And I had a reading one time, but the guy, the guy said, you're, it's, it's, it's interesting reading me in one of those psychic readings. He said, you know, you can put on the dress, the attire of any culture, and they'll let you in. And sure enough, it's true. When I was in Amman, Jordan, when I was in Jordan, I put the hajib on, right? Oh, they were yapping, you know, I had to be a little bit. They yapping to me away in Arabic, you know. <laughs> you know, when I was in a, uh, oh, here, look. See this fabric here? Oh, this is a bag, man. Okay. Well, this fabric here comes from a, 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 a longi. In, in, in India, they wear, they wear, it's like a, they, 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 you know, they have their shorts, right? But then you ever see it, they have this, it looks like a skirt. You know, nice fabric. It looks like a skirt. Kind of like a skirt, and you wrap it around yourself, and then you know you can. Anyway, they, they use it. you. You look at some Indian things. I, I, in fact, I use. I was all over India, all over India, I've been to India several times, three or four times. Uh, but if, for the, the place I like best, I always go to Tamanadu State down down in Oroville, India, down at the French 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 part, the French speaking part, uh, Pondicherry, French. Anyway. Uh, so if I put on the longi and they have they have a certain shirt they wear with a little pocket, put on the longi, I shave, and so I'm, I'm put I get the longi, I, I have I have the, the Tamil, you know, the short sleeves and things like that. I'm shaved, complete shaved you you can wear a mustache and mm -hmm. shave and I'm riding around on the Tamil bike. These are bicycles, you know, riding a Tamil. Everybody's yapping to me in Tamil. <laughs> when I was in, uh, also someplace in India, that I didn't say anything. I was walking some sort of, you know, tourist kind of thing. And that guy was trying to get where he was saying, "You're from Sri Lanka, you know, every place, you know." Okay, I'm sorry it takes so long, but this is, you know, this is what it is. All right. So I was wondering. I mean, I looked at my passport here. If people don't understand. You want to call yourself whatever you want to call yourself, but when you get someplace. People identify you by your um, by your country. They don't identify you by your subset or whatever have you. So you can say I'm African American if you want to. But they'll just say you're American, you know. So, so it's, in other words, if you came from say um, say Costa Rica or you know or, or, or Guatemala or I don't know or Peru, and they say where you from, and then those places are America technically. Um, but but they, you say they say oh you're Peruvian you're from Peru or you're from you know um, um, Guatemala you know that, that kind of thing. Uh, so it's kind of strange where people want to be uh, they 
they say, well, aren't these other people American too, or whatever it is. I mean, I guess that started with um, Langston Hughes when he put that, that poem, you know, I too am America, blah, blah, blah. No, well, black people always doing that, you know. We're, we're including other people. I remember in the early '60s, in the mid '60s, we were, we're the ones that start including everybody. This is before the '65, you know, when everybody's coming. We would say, in our struggle, we say we would say black and Puerto Rican. So we include the Puerto Ricans because they're they were allies, you know what I mean? Because some of them, you know, like the Young Lords Party, they're allies. Okay. So anyway, so I was looking at. Uh, so when you realize this, how old is this? this? I think this is my first passport. Oh yeah, this is. 85, yeah, this is my first passport, right? This is my first passport. This is what it looked like. Okay. okay. Then I, uh, then this passport ran out, I suppose. What's the next one? This was this passport. No, that was later. Yeah. And this passport, this is a big passport. It's the one I use. Uh, this one. Uh, I think this was the next one before this one. Yeah, this was the last one. Yeah. And then I got this passport. And uh, now you'll notice something interesting about this passport here. If you can see my picture, right? Now my picture, I'm smiling. I'm, you know, I'm, smi I'm smiling. Now this was taken in New York. They were giving the, the passport agency was at the Rockefeller Center, right across from, uh, right across from, uh, you know, St. Patrick's Cathedral. Okay. Um, but the photographer, I had to go into the photographer. He told me at that time. So this was, a, what year was this when I got this? particular passport. 95? Yeah, 95. Yeah, this was 95. Okay, 85, this is 10 years. This is 85. This is 95. So it started in 95. The photographer there, he told me, look, your, your, your gap, like this, is your identifying sign. So you should make, you should smile a little, make sure you can see the gap, right? And he said, you can give a further thing, say, if you want to look at He said, and make sure you, you just stick your neck out a little bit and, and smile. So that's why this picture's like that. Well, lo and behold, 10 years later, Man, I was pretty good looking there. Oh, good looking. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay. Then I then then you'll notice with this picture here. This was 2000. So it's 90. That's right. This is 2006. Yeah, 2006. No smile. Looked like a criminal, right? So they had between then and this, they made a rule that you couldn't you couldn't um, smile. You know, I guess because you can change your whatever. So I don't know. So so now you, when you take these official pictures, you're not supposed to be able, able to smile. Oh, and my latest passport. That's, that's 2000. And then the one I carry the passport with you. Oh, here's another tip for you travelers. If you notice, well, I have my official passport here. Got an extra thing because I'll be traveling. But I always make a copy. See, this is my latest passport. This is a this is a colored copy of my passport. The eagle and whatever have it. I do this because if I lose my passport, this is the same one here. Yeah, if I lose this passport, I'm trying to lose this passport. At least I have something that I can bring to the embassy, whatever I have to say. This is my thing, and it'll be a lot easier to think of. So if you're traveling, make sure you make a color copy of your thing. Put it, some, leave it in a hotel, and carry it with you. Don't care. A lot of places don't carry your passport out, you know. But you just carry something like this. You can at least talk your way into getting back to where your passport is in the safe or something like that. Just a little traveling tip. Just thought I'd let you know. Okay, but uh, but here's the thing. So I'm up here thinking. People don't understand. When you travel, and they ask you your country. They ask you your country. They, you you're American. You're, you you can be American to send a child, blah, 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 but you're an American. That is what you are. People don't actually. They don't care what you know. You. They don't care. You know. I mean, this is just commonly known. So when people want to say, oh, you know, I'm African-American, but they can see you're African-American. If you're, if you're American, they assume you're African-American if that's what your passport says, okay? This is one, right? Okay. Wow. Moringa and black tea. Whoa, that is good. Let me hurry up with this thing so I can get it done with. Okay, oh, one more thing about passports. You have to realize, I think this is the passport I went to Cuba with. I think this is the passport I went to Cuba with. Here's the trick. You can go any place on the planet, but if whatever government you belong to, but your passport can't. So for instance, when I went to Cuba, I was, uh, this is, whatever, how many years ago? This is 90, whatever, whenever I went to Cuba. Uh, yeah, the 90s, late 90s, whenever I went to Cuba, what I had to do is go to Mexico, 
right? Then you go to Cuba, and instead of you know stamping the thing in your in your, in your tourist thing in your in your passport, what they do is they stamp a separate paper, and you put that in your. And you just had a separate paper in your passport. You go visit the island, and then when you leave, you just you skim back the thing, and you go back. I almost messed up when I got back to the states because I went back because you had to go to Mexico. Whatever. When I got back to the states, there, you know, of course, she said, uh, "Where where were you?" And I almost said Cuba. And I said, "Oh, Mexico." <laughs> Tricky, tricky. That's why they ask those questions because you'd be unconscious, happy, and whatever. Then you find that you can't go someplace. Okay, back to the point. Wait a second. Wait a second. Black tea and moringa. Get it if you possibly can. But then again, you might be okay. Okay. So there's this thing. I think the, uh, 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 an issue that's going to happen and it's going to separate actually ADOS from a whole bunch of other people is a long time. You know, we a lot of us activists. You know, a lot of us. You know, Pan Africanists. We, you know, we we abstain from the American flag. It's like the American flag is that's just bars. The, the stars and stripes like bars and you know bars for us. I mean, I remember at BAL one time we made a call. I mean, there was this big thing about the American flag, and I, and I, we, I was one of the people saying, "No, we, it's American flag." We da da da. Well, finally, Bernard, you know, Bernard White, he made a card and he said, "Wash the American flag." It's a very interesting trick. So instead of shunning the American flag, what we need to do is make it do what it's supposed to be. Well, that's my little editorial thing. But here's the thing. Yvette Carnell, you know, who's part with me, Yvette Carnell and, 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 and Tony Moore are the, are the progenitors of, you know, of this movement, of this um, ADAS movement. They, um, they, they, well, Yvette says, we have to claim the flag, wrap ourselves up. This is my flag. You, you can't, and that's one of the, the, the critical mistakes that the so-called left made. They allowed the right to wrap themselves in the American flag. You know, they allowed, they allowed, the, the American flag was stolen by the conservative, you know, the whole, the whole John Birch kind of people. They stole that American flag. It's your every right to, you can reclaim it. Because like I said, when you travel the world, people don't they look at your politics. They, they actually, they, when, they, when you travel the world and you're an American, they, they look at you as a dollar sign. You know? But they, you're an American. You can try not to be, now in your own group, you can do whatever. Here's the other thing. I was listening to this brother. Oh man, I forgot. Anyway, uh, now if you ask me now, I can say, I'm ADAS. What are you? What kind of American are you? I'm not going to say African American. I'm going to say, I'm, I'm, I'm ADAS. That's my tribe of, that's my, that's my clan affiliation. This brother was talking about, uh, uh, Amos Wilson was talking about, the, we need to be tribal, we need to find our tribe. That's the same thing I did when I was talking to uh, James Small, I said we have to find a, a clan. So anyway, so I'm, I'm ADOS, and, and yes, I claim the American flag, I better get an American flag in my set sometime. That might take a while, I don't know if I want to do that right away. Anyway. So there you have it. ADAS, claim your flag back, wash the, wash it, say, the, 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 our blood has washed that flag throughout the years. Now we need to wash it and make sure and make the American, the American government, you know, do what they're supposed to do to make this all right. So that's a little message from me. T from the Pattersons, taking a train to, well, I missed my, oh, I changed my thing. T from the Pattersons, reporting to you from a desk of the ADOS, letting you know what I only suspect.